An emotional day in court for friends and family of the two people killed by stray gunfire during a drive-by shooting. Gino Nicholas, a community organizer, was checking on kids he was mentoring. Tanya Skeen was unloading groceries. I was one of the ones that found her body. She was a good woman that didn't deserve what she, what she got. One by one, friends and family of Skeen took a seat, asking for life in prison for Christopher Miller. In March, Miller's brother, Lavon Shin, was also sentenced to life in prison for his part in their 2016 deaths. He deserves life just like Shin. No difference, no, nothing has changed. I don't feel any different. I don't want an apology. You shot my whole house up. At least twice, Miller interrupted the family. And even when the evidence clearly states that Miller was there, no, it's not. Mr. Miller, you're going to have to, you'll have a chance to be heard, okay? If you don't respect everyone else's, you'll be removed from the courtroom, okay? But you'll have a chance to be heard, okay? Miller's lawyer argued for a lighter sentence, saying his client was not the shooter and had no criminal record. But Skeen's family fought back. Those people, I was a troubled teen. A father, a single father, and she basically took us in. She just didn't deserve this. Miller will now spend the rest of his life in jail. Sonica Dange, West 2, the news hour at 10.